Psalms 14 and 7. All right, it says, Oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion. When the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be blessed. Okay, that's right. Zechariah. Zechariah 8 and 13 It says And it shall come to pass That as ye were a curse Among the heathen O house of Judah and house of Israel So will I save you And ye shall be a blessing Fear not And, ye, and let your hands Be strong Okay That's right So that proves one that the Lord he's still going to deal with the nation of Israel okay alright Malachi 3 and 6 and they're blessed it says for I am the Lord I change not therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed see the Lord don't change okay alright alright so Matthew 25 34 then shall the king, which that's your house, shall I say unto them on his right hand, which are the sheep, which is the nation of Israel, come ye blessed of my father, which the Lord's people are blessed. Alright? Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Okay? That's right. So the kingdom of heaven, which we're going to prove with the scriptures, is only for the nation of Israel. Alright? Genesis 17 all right, verse 4 alright starting all the way back with Abram this is Genesis 17 and 3 and Abraham fell on his face and, or Abram fell on his face and God talked with him saying as for me behold my covenant is with thee and thou shalt be a father of many nations neither shalt thy name any more be called Abram but thy name shall be called Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made thee. Okay. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee. And kings, okay, kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee okay and it says and I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession and I will be their God okay now we already got precepts proven that the nation that, that's, that fell on the nation of Israel but we just establishing the point Okay. All right. Okay. Showing that that seed went through a through a line from Abraham all the way, which from Abraham to Isaac and then to Jacob and then to his twelve sons. All right. And that covenant is with the males. Okay. As we further read. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore thou and thy seed after thee and their generations. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised, and ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant between me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every man child in your generation he that is born in the house or bought with money of any stranger which is not of thy seed he that is born in thy house and he that is bought with thy money must be circumcised and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant and the uncircumcised man child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised that soul shall be cut off from his people he hath broken my covenant Okay. It says, And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarai, thy wife, 
Thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall her name be. And I will bless her and give thee a son also of her. Yea, I will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations, kings, all right, which are males of people shall be of her. And that's talking about the nation of Israel. Okay. And then Abraham fell on his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is ninety years old bear? And Abraham said unto God, O oh, that Ishmael, which the Ishmaelites, are you so called Arabs, might live before thee. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. As for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful. And I will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he be got, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time the next year. Okay, so Isaac was the chosen. All right. Okay. Genesis 26 and 3. I started at 2. And the Lord appeared unto him for 1. And there was a famine in the land besides the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gera. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go down, go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. So journey in this land, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee, for unto thee and unto thy seed, okay, I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swore unto Abraham thy father, and I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and will give unto thy seed all these countries, and in thy seed shall all nations of the earth be blessed. Now we're going to find out that's talking about Israel. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice, and kept my charge, and my commandments, and my statutes, and my laws. Okay. Alright, so that promise was given to Isaac. Now Isaac had two sons. Alright, Genesis 25, 21. Alright, proving it, it's a lineage thing. Okay, and Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren and the Lord entreated. The Lord was entreated of him and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. Which, like I said before, the word conceive means to take seed into the worm, which is sperm, to become pregnant. Okay. Though the, the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. Okay. Meaning she went to go see the seer. Alright. Because the Lord spec he speaks through his prophets. Okay, First Samuel 9 and 9 says, Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, thus he spake, Come and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. Okay. Luke 1 and 7. Okay. It says, Luke 1 and 70. It says, As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Okay. So when it says she inquired of the Lord, she spoke to a prophet. Okay. Genesis 25, 22. Okay, and the children struggled together within her. She said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations, okay, two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. 
okay, separated. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. Okay. Now this is tying in with what we're reading in Matthew chapter 25. Because if you understand that this whole the Bible is really speaking about two main characters, okay? Because from we reading from Abraham, okay, the Lord chose Abraham. All right, out of all people, and made a promise that he'll be his God, that, that Yahweh Shemal Shah will be of, be his God, and the God of his descendants, through a particular line, which was Isaac, because Abraham had eight sons, all right, but the chosen line went through Isaac, okay, okay, and then the Lord made a promise that he will perform the oath that he made to. Abraham upon him and his seed. Now we read in right now that it comes down to two nations. The nation that came out of out of the the loins of Isaac. Alright. Who will receive what? The kingdom that was prepared from the beginning of the world. So that exclude everybody else. Okay. Alright. It exclude everybody else because it comes down to two the two main characters whom the who who can receive the promise. Okay. Alright, so that's what we're reading about. Okay. So Genesis twenty five, twenty three, and the Lord said unto her, Alright, two nations are in thy womb, two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. So whoever came out first was going to be a slave unto the, the eldest. I mean, excuse me, be a slave to the younger. Okay, and it says, And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. The first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. Alright, so Esau was the elder. He shall serve the younger. Okay, verse 26. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. Okay, and Isaac was three score years old when he bore them. Okay, so let's hop down to the kingdom. Well, I'll finish reading this out, and then we go through it. Okay. It says, And the boys grew, Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, which is a characteristic of you Caucasians. You like hunting, and you're skilled at it, and you love being outdoors. And Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tents. And Jacob is quite complete and content at being a homebody and just having the necessary things, okay? That's two different manners. That's and and Jacob is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says and Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob because she remembered the promise. And Jacob sodded pottage, and Esau came from the field and was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. Now the pottage was still red because it was raw meat in, which is a indicator that your Caucasian comes from your father Esau, the Edomites, because you eat your meat raw. Okay, that's one of, that's one of those things that you do. Okay, and Jacob said, "Sell me this day thy birthright." And Esau said, "Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me?" And Jacob said, "Swear." To me this day, and he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Okay, Esau despised his birthright. All right, Genesis 27. Genesis 